Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, glory, and worship to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Racha Kudash, double honors to the elders and the apostles that have what and do well overseeing the tabernacle of David. Of course, starting from Prophet Abba Bivens on down to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations. Greetings and salutations likewise to the Akim that are pushing his word and the utmost truth and sincerity. All right, which are the 144K, the Tazadakim, the upright, righteous men of the Lord that did not delay. Uh, to the sisters, the sincere, the few sincere sisters out there, the Aqua, also greetings. This is... um. I'm going to start it off in the book of Proverbs. Uh, but basically what I'm going to touch up on is um, it's the fact that the nations and the infidels and you know all the, the people of the earth, they're gathering the riches, gathering the wealth, starting from the Rothschild family on down. Um, but the just, the elect are the ones to... Um, Eat the fruit of the riches. We are going to be the ones to reap the silver, reap the gold, and reap the fruit of the universe. All right? So this is the book of Proverbs, the 28th chapter, the 8th verse. It says, he that, he that by usury and unjust gain increase of his substance. And that's how the so-called, uh, you know, white... The white uh, white man, and which we know is Esau Edom, that's how his government and his economic structure functions, based upon usury and unjust gain. That's why right now his economy is so um, it's a fabric, it's fabricated. His economy is, is his fiat. He has a fiat economy because it's based upon usury and unjust gain. But that's how he's increased his substance, his wealth. All right. You know, going with the dealing with the petrodollar, the Federal Reserve note, um, you know, and so on and so forth. The banking system, all right, interest, and so on and so forth. But it says, He shall gather it for him that will pity the poor, right? And who, who pities the poor? The elect, all right, those who fear the name of Yahweh Shem Shah. So he, yeah, he, he he can do that. Yeah, go ahead, Esau. You know, you store up, and this is this goes for all levels, man. Because in Jacob's trouble, for brothers who don't have resources, or we you know when brothers do run out of resources, all these different people who gathering up this damn toilet tissue and different canned food, and you know, storing up these different resources, man, the lick is going to eat that, man. We're going to consume that. All right, they're going to be somewhere being fowls meat in the street while we consume all right, what they have put, um, put, um, put aside. All right, that's, that's the immediate future. But ultimately, when we get the victory, everything that these Rothschilds, these Rockefellers, you know, and, and all the different um, heathens that branch off from them and all of the the wealth and riches of India and China, okay, um, the uh, gold of Havila, the gold uh, the gold of Ufer, the different um, dainty goods and resources, the first fruit. We're going to consume that. The the virgins. The daughters of the of the nations, all that's all that is is prepared is being prepared for the elect. All right, being prepared for the 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 elect of the nation of Israel, man. All right. Okay. So let's go to a precept. This is um, the book of Isaiah, the sixty first chapter, the sixth verse. It says, "Matter of fact, let me see." Oof, how about let's start at verse 5. My goodness, this is just excellent. 
It says, and strangers shall stand and feed your flocks. And the sons of the alien shall be your plowman in your vine dressers, which is what? Our slaves. These other nations are going into slavery for what they did to us, man. Uh, we are the true rulers and heirs of the planet Earth. In, 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 in the proper order, and as the Lord has um, ordained, the Israelites are the proper governors of the planet Earth. The earth looks the way that it is now and it's in self-destruction mode because the people who were not um, legitimized to rule the earth are in power and in authority. But it's fine because when Yahweh shall return, he's going to put everything back into order. Verse 6, it says, But ye shall be named the priest of the Lord. Right, because we're the priest. Okay. We are all spiritual Levites um, through the um, uh, sacrifice of Yahweh Shai, all right, the man of Israel. All right, it says, excuse me, it says, man shall call you the ministers of our God, the servants of our God, which is Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. It says, Ye shall eat the riches. Here's the point. Ye shall eat the riches of the Gentiles. All right. And as a matter of fact, let's go into that word riches. How about us? Let's go and let's take a, a, a dive into that word riches in the Hebrew, um, which is chayal. Strength, might, efficiency, wealth. Army, all right. We can go into that. Uh, so basically, the riches are, is is your resources, okay? Um, your substance, okay? Your wealth, your your you know, the best of what you maintain and possess. All right. This is amazing. This is beautiful. It says, "Ye shall eat the riches of the Gentiles." And in their glory, ye shall boast yourselves. So what they took glory in, their power, their might, anything that they could boast or, 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 or magnify themselves in, that, that belongs to us. That glory belongs to us. All right? And, and, and it will be given to us through Yahweh Shai and his return. All right? And us making the necessary sacrifices right now to be a just version, all right, fit for the marriage, all right, all right, clean from the uh, the stain of this world, all right, and the stigma of the mark of the, uh, of the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip. Verse 7, it says, For your shame ye shall have double for the transatlantic slave trade, for all the humiliation and the lynching and the rape and, you know, posting us up on the TV screen as being thugs and savages and just and fabricating our history and taking away and all, making all of the movies about our ancestors during the Dark Ages and during the time of um, Abraham, during the time of Moses and, and you covering those images up with you and, and painting them as Edomites. You know, all of our glory just being tarnished and our name being stepped upon. It says, for your shame, ye shall have double. And for confusion, they shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore, in their land, they shall possess the double. Everlasting joy shall be unto them. Call Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, man. By Hashem Rechakodash. We know we're not deserving of this, but we've been gifted this. And the Lord is a just God, and He's and He's and He's sure with His word. He's consistent. Who's the Who's underrated? Who's the most consistent? Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, man. And His name will be magnified. In the very near future, across the entire face of the earth. It's 
the book of Job. It's the book of Job, the 20th chapter, the 18th verse. It says, that which he labored for, and who was that? The other nations starting off, starting off of Esau, Edom. All right. It says, that which he labored for, shall he restore. So America, all of what you've labored for, your different dealings and, you know, your enterprise and whatnot and your robbery and how you've, you know, you've ex um, exploited the children of Israel, so on and so forth. It says, shall he restore? You gotta, you're going to have to run that back, buddy. All of that. Double. It says, and shall, it says, and shall not swallow it down. I mean, you're not going to be able to consume it. You're not going to be able, it's not going to nourish. These riches that you've heaped up are not going to nourish you, man. All right. They are for the elect. They are for the children of Yashar Allah, the children of Israel. All right. Okay. It says, um, according to his substance, shall the restitution be. See, so whatever you have maintained, whatever you've gathered, you're going to have to restore that to the Israelites. As a matter of fact, let's take a dab into that term restitution in the Hebrew, which is uh, thamawara, th which means that which is exchange, exchange, substitute, recompense, recompense. Matter of fact, might as well grab it. Since we're talking about recompense, let's get a precept for that. This is the book of, um, I believe it's 1 Thessalonians. It might be 2nd. Yes, it's 2nd Thessalonians. Um, let me see here. I believe, I believe it was... Um, just like, give me one second. I believe it's Thessalonians. You have Second Thessalonians. I skipped over it. Second Thessalonians, the first chapter, the sixth verse. It says, seeing it is a righteous thing with God. With Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. To recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. So... You Edomites, you've troubled the blacks, Hispanics, Native Indians, man. All right. For generations upon generations. This thing hasn't started in America. We can, we can talk about the time of Rome, 70 AD. We could talk about the time of Greece with, with the Ptolemaic and the Seleucid Empire. Huh? You thought we forgot? You thought we didn't go into the records and search it out? The Lord has revealed all things to us, man. We could talk about the Amalekites when we, when we were in the wilderness, man, right after we left Egypt. The first people to, to, to attack us unjustly, man. You filthy Edomites, man. All right? We, we, what, you want to talk about transatlantic slave trade? What you want to talk about, man? Because you niggas are on trial, man. And the Lord is about to execute his judgment. So, uh, Thamarwa, going back to that term recompense in the Hebrew, or um, um, restitution, all right, with his substitute exchange, you're going to have to restore what you have, um, um, comp ooh, I like that, compensation, because that's actually what it means for, right here, you can see it in the um, lexicon, um, because right here, we're actually reading out of Job, the 20th chapter, the 18th verse. So number two will be more so a definite definition. All right. So let's see what it says. It says compensation. All right. Retribution. Recompense. Okay. So you're going to have to restore that, man. All right. It says, and he shall not rejoice therein. So you're not going to rejoice in this, man. You're not going to rejoice in the riches and the wealth and the dainties that you have heaped up. 
All right? You've gathered them for your arch enemy, the Israelites, man. Congratulations. I'm going to finish it off with Job, the 27th chapter. In the 16th verse, it says, Though he heap up silver as the dust and prepare raiment as the clay. Verse 17, he may prepare it, but the just shall put it on. And the innocent shall divide the silver. Ah. So yeah, you might prepare it, but it's going to be the elect that put it on. All right? That 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 laden upon ourselves as a comely, well fitted wardrobe. See? And that's what's about to manifest itself on the planet Earth, man. Yahweh by Shimei Arashai is about to open up the floodgates of terror on you Edomites, man. All right? You see the cherry eyes. Don't play games. You see the quote-unquote UFOs. Those are angels, man. We've seen Ezekiel's will manifest itself on the NASA uh, on the NASA um, uh, solar system recording system, man. Where they were recording in the solar system and Ezekiel's will, a massive will within the will, what they call UFOs, exposed itself. Or may I say, revealed itself. Flying through space at a at a at a, a a very extremely high speed. All right? Moving through space, flying, nearly teleporting through space, man. All right? And, and, and with a size three times as big as the planet Earth. And he's coming for vengeance. The angels are coming to restore order on the planet Earth. And the man of the Lord will be active constituents in the process. Yeah, I said it. There's nothing you can do about it because thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. Yahweh by Shimei Shah is going to give us those powers. He's going to give us the strength to combat the enemy when he comes in with his, with his, uh, Feeble mechanisms. Matter of fact, we got to get that through the spirit. I got to grab it. Isaiah. As I said, with his feeble mechanisms. With his uh, carnal mechanisms. This is Isaiah, the 33rd chapter. Matter of fact, I believe it's the 31st chapter. Let me see here. Yeah, yep. Yeah. This is Isaiah, the 31st chapter, the third verse, one of my favorite scriptures. It says, Now the Egyptians are man and not God. And who is a modern day Egyptian? You Americans. That's why you put the pyramid on your dollar bill. That's why you have a big obelisk in the middle of Washington, D.C. All right? And you worship all these Egyptian gods secretly in your Masonic infrastructure. All right? Okay, so it says, you know, and you had the children of Israel in captivity, just like the just like the Egyptians, man. All right. So it says, it says, now the Egyptians are man and not God. Uh, it says in their horses, flesh and not spirit. So their tanks, their Humvees, their, their drones, their, you know, uh, you know, all the different devices in which they have uh, heaped up in this, in this brief terry they've been given. Their flesh, their, their temporal, their transitory, their, their mechanisms uh, um, that are of the earth, while our mechanisms are of the heavens because... Our mechanisms, our devices are of the spirit. It says, and not spirit. It says, when Yahweh shall stretch out his hand, both he that helpeth shall fall, and he that is holding shall fall down. 
and they all shall fail together. So when when the Lord lift up His hand and He and He got and the day of reckoning comes to your doorstep, because well, guess what? When you move, He move. But see, the thing is, when you move, He gonna hit you with a checkmate, just like that. And the dagger shall be thrust through, man. Verse 4, it says, For thus saith Yahweh, uh, um, for thus hath Yahweh spoken unto me, like as the lion and the young lion roaring on his prey, when a multitude of shepherds is called forth against him, he will not be afraid of their voice, nor abase himself for the noise of them. So shall Yahweh of hosts come down to fight for Mount Zion and for the hill thereof. Let's get it, man. This is electrifying, man. This is immaculate. This is excellence. This is greatness, man. In its finest essence. Verse 4. Ooh, it says, as birds flying. That's speaking about the chariots. That's speaking about what you call the UFOs, man. It says, as birds flying, so will Yahweh, oh, Yahweh of hosts defend Jerusalem. Defending also, he will deliver it. And passing over, he will preserve it. Oh, man. Oh, man, this is epic, man. This is, this is sheer glory. All right, the cherry. I see. You see, I look up in my sky at night, and I, it's by. I see like four or five drones in the sky, and I look at them, and I, and I, and I consider. I'm like, yes, yeah, that's, that's a lot of drones in the sky. You know, uh, quote unquote state of the art technology. But meanwhile, the Lord got chariots right above them. Or in the midst of them. Not realizing that big brother is looking down at them. Big brother is looking down at them. They look down on us, but big brother's looking down at them. And if they move one, one inch the wrong way, an airstrike from the celestial realm will ultimately decimate them, man. That's why it reads, I'm going to read it again. I'm going to read the scripture again. It says, as birds flying, so will Yahweh of hosts defend Jerusalem. Defending also, he will deliver it. And passing over, he will preserve it. So they think they, you know, they're comfortable in their, in their, uh, their uh, citadels or their strongholds with a remote control in their hand, working the drones. Meanwhile, the air reconnaissance of the angels is waiting for them to make that move. And we plead for them to make that move so our God can make his. So you can, so you can, so, so that airstrike from the heavens can come meet you at your doorstep, nigga. Them fucking bullshit ass drones. I'm going to show you the, Yahweh Bashim Yahshua going to show you the real drones, man. He going to show you who really the big brother in this thing, man. When the chariots hit the scene, and then you see your technological uh, uh, advancements, your techn technological devices begin to um, malfunction. Ooh, you didn't consider that, did you? And they they begin to be corrupted, and 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 you know, able you're no longer able to have the foothold, and the usurper. The supplanter completely folds you upon your neck. And I'm speaking of Yahweh by Shimei Shah, the King of King, Lord of Lords, man. Your technology cannot match the, the technology of the angels in Yahweh by Shimei Shah. Are you mad? Hey, well, guess what? Yahweh by Shimei Shah can show you. Better he can tell you. If you don't believe me, make the move. 
and I can guarantee you how about Shimmy Sha is going to make his. He's waiting on you. He's waiting on you. The angels are waiting on you. They're already in position. They're waiting on you. And you will be judged. You will be judged. Matter of fact, see, since y'all want to play games, I'm fucking sick of you damn Edomites, man. Gonna get some more scriptures on y'all. Damn demons. This is Isaiah, the 60, 65th chapter. Oh, excuse me, the 66th chapter. Yeah, we on it. We on the watchtower. This is Isaiah, the 66th chapter, the 15th verse. It says, For behold, Yahweh Bashimiah Sha will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind. Ooh. See, these, 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 we're talking about devices that can teleport, that can shape shift and, you know, just run circles around your little drones and your little, your, your little um, radar systems, as you call them. It says, to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword with, will, Yah, will Yahweh plead with all flesh. And the slain of Yahweh shall be many. Let's go. Let's go, man. And the slain of Yahweh by Shemiah shall be many, man. It's about to be a sacrifice in Bozra, man. This is Isaiah, the 63rd chapter, the first verse. It says, who is this that cometh from Edom with dyed garments from Bozra? This that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. Yeah, his name is Yahweh Shah, man. It says, I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel, and thy garments like him that treadeth the wine fat? I have trodden the wine press alone, and of the people there was none with me. For I will tread them in my anger, and trample them in my fury. And their blood should be sprinkled upon my garments. Think he, think he playing? We're going to see. We're going to see. It says, and I will stain my raiment. The Lord going to get a stain on you crackers, man. He about to get a stain on you crackers. You playing with the children of Israel. You playing with his silver and gold, man. You destroyed the earth. And you're trying to annihilate and exterminate his people. It will be answered. It will be answered. Verse 4 it says, For the day of vengeance is in mine heart. And the year of my redeemed is come. We're here, baby. It's a championship, man. All right. This is the year of the elect, man. All right. This is the, this is the, as the uh, as the apostle said. This is the year of prophecy, man. Mm. Verse five. It says, "And I looked, and there was none to help, and I wondered that there was none to uphold. Therefore, my own arm brought salvation unto me, and my fury it upheld me." And I will tread down the people in my anger and make them drunk in my fury. And I will bring down their strength to the earth. Ah, in this will I be confident. Very confident right now. Scripture said we boast in the name of the Lord, man. Very confident. Very confident in our air support. In our, in our air reconnaissance. Verse 7, oh, it says, I will mention the loving kindness of Yahweh and the praises of Yahweh by Shimiah Shah, according to all that Yahweh by Shimiah Shah hath bestowed on us, which are the elect. Lord willing, I'm of that number, man. It says, and the great goodness toward the house of Israel. See, that's what it said. The house of Israel, man. The Lord's only dealing with the nation of Israel, man. And you heathens and you infidels are about to get acquainted with that, man. Personally. 
The prophets have been telling you day in and day out, and you want to scoff, you want to mock, you want to ridicule, you want to persecute. With well, Lord, yeah, how about Shem Al Shah is about to shut this whole program down? How about that? These niggas talking about they're gonna shut down the, the shut down America and and shut down the jobs. Well, yeah, guess what? Yeah, how about Shem Al Shah is about to shut down your enterprise, nigga? Thinking you can thinking you thinking you shutting the earth down. The Lord about to shut you down, man. It says, which he hath bestowed on them according to his mercies and according to the multitude of his loving kindness. For he said, surely they are my people, children that will not lie. So he was their savior. Hmm. Verse nine, I got to keep going, Shalakia. This is this through the spirit. It says, in all their affliction, he was afflicted. So when you afflicted us, when you persecuted us, you fucking infidels, you damn degenerates, you novices, you incompetents. It says, in all their affliction, he was afflicted. So you afflicted the Lord, man. When you, when, you, when you afflicted the man of the Lord, you afflicted the Lord himself, man. We are the messengers of Yahweh by Shem Shah. And what is the old saying? If, you, if, if, if one does something to the messenger, it's the same as doing something to the king, man. All right? It says, and the angel of his presence saved them in his love and his pity. He redeemed them and he bare them and carried them all the days of old. All right. And the Lord is going to redeem us again a second time in Egypt. All right. A second time the Lord is going to redeem us in Egypt. Matter of fact, let's get that. Um, the Lord will not finish it off with this one. Is this second Ezra's, I believe. What was that? The ninth chapter? Hmm. Or is it the I believe it's the ninth chapter? Um I will not it might be the fifteenth chapter or the thirteenth, I can't remember. I'm about to pull it up now. Yeah, it was fifteenth chapter, Shalakia. This is 2nd Ezra, the 15th chapter, the 10th verse. It says, Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them to dwell in the land of Egypt. See, now the Egyptians are, are man and not God. All right. Verse 11, it says, But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and will smite Egypt with plagues as before. <clears throat> cough, cough, coronavirus. And that's just the beginning of sorrows. Coronavirus is nothing, man. You about to see some real plagues, man. You about to see some real plagues. All right? The famine, the pestilence, so on and so forth. It says, smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof. All right? And that's, that's speaking of America, man. All right? Verse 12 says, Egypt shall mourn and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plagues and punishment that God shall bring upon it. All right? So the Lord, Yahweh by Shem is about to bring forth judgment upon this planet Earth. Um, first and foremost, with the Edomites in America, man. America is where the great judgment will, um, will lie, you know, with the thermonuclear missiles. Um, 200 million of them, or 200 million warheads, when they touch down... On the United States of America, man, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be completely annihilated. All right. So I'm gonna just go ahead and give all praises unto Yahweh by Shem Yahusha by Shem Kakadash. I like to thank Him for giving me the strength, the power, the wisdom, and the capability to edify, Lord willing, edify the sincere laborers, and condemn uh, those who rise up against the pure, wholesome truth. If you hire by Shemya Shai. All right. Um, through the word, through the spirit. All right. Um, Shalom to all you laborers and keep the faith.
מוואף בבר, כואם בחייים.